Okay, welcome to today's video everyone. So today we'll be seeing an example of solving quadratic equations with complex coefficients. Okay, so the question says solve z squared plus 2 plus i z plus 2 minus 2i. Two right, and the way that we do this is by simply using the quadratic formula as for a real uh, a quadratic equation with real uh, coefficients. So we have z equals minus b, which is minus into 2 plus i, okay, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 2 plus i squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times b, which is 2 minus 2i, sorry, times c, which is 2 minus 2i, all over 2 times 1, which is 2. Okay, so let's simplify what we have under this radical here. So we have this, plus or minus. Okay, now the square of 2 plus i is going to be 4 plus 2 times 2 times i, which is 4i, plus i squared, which is minus 1. Okay, uh, minus 4 times 2 will be minus 8, and minus 4 times minus 2i will be plus 8i, right, all over 2. Okay, now we can simplify further here, and we get, so we're going to have a 4 minus 8 minus 1, which will be a minus 5, and here we're going to have 4i plus 8i, which is plus 12i, and we're taking the square root of that, all over 2. Okay, so now we need to work out what's the square root of this complex number. And if you haven't seen uh, the previous video in the complex number series, I suggest you go back and watch that, which shows you how to find the square root of a complex number. Okay, so let's say that omega is the square root of negative 5 plus 12i. And so omega squared is negative 5 plus 12i. Okay, now, if we let omega equal x plus i y, we get x plus i y all squared equals minus 5 plus 12 i. Okay, now, if we expand this, we'll get x squared. Remember, this will become a minus y squared plus 2xyi, yxi, minus 5 plus 12i. Okay, now remember we equate the real and imaginary parts. So we have x squared minus y squared is equal to minus 5, and we call that equation 1. And we also have that 2yx is equal to 12 by equating the imaginary parts. So 2yx equals 12, and so we're going to have y equal to, if we divide by 2x on both sides, we're going to have 6 over x. Let's call that equation 2. Alright. Now we can sub uh, 2 into 1. Okay. So subbing 2 into 1, we get x squared minus 6 over x all squared equal to negative 5. If we multiply through by x squared, we'll get x to the power 4 minus 6 squared, which is 36, times x squared over x squared, which was just 36. That's equal to minus 5x squared, and that's x to the 4 plus 5x squared minus 36 equals 0. And you should see that this is a quadratic equation in x squared. If you don't see it clearly, you can let u equal to x squared and you'll see that it's a quadratic equation, but you should recognize this as a quadratic equation. And so we can factorize it. And so we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give negative 36 and add to give positive 5, and those are 9 and negative 4. Okay, so we have x squared plus 9 and x squared minus 4 equal to 0. So these are our factors of this polynomial here. 
Okay, now remember, x is a real number. So we only take the solutions from this factor here. Since these are going to give x equals plus or minus 3i, and this gives x equal to plus or minus 2, so we might just write it, x equals plus or minus 2, or plus or minus 3i, right? But remember, x is real, and so we only take x equals plus or minus 2, since x is a real number. Okay? Alright, now, when x is equal to uh, 2, we have that y equals... Now, if we sub it back into 6, we have y equal to 6 over 2, which is 3. And when x equals negative 2, we have y equals to 6 over negative 2, which equals negative 3. Right? So, therefore, uh, the square roots of negative 5 plus 12i correspond to plus or minus... 3 plus, whoops, 2 plus 3i. Alright, so that's a 2. Yeah, that's a 2. Okay, so now we can substitute that back into this expression here and see what we get. So, the expression was z equals minus into 2 plus i plus or minus, now the square root of negative 5 plus 12i, which we've just worked out to be plus or minus 2 plus 3i. Right, so this plus or minus is included in this plus or minus here. So we have 2 plus 3i all over 2. I can move that away now. Okay, so here we can split up this plus or minus into two separate parts, and we get minus 2 plus i plus 2 plus 3i over 2, or we have minus 2 plus i, minus 2 minus plus 3i, over 2, right? And we can simplify these, and you'll see that minus 2 here and plus 2 will cancel. We get minus i plus 3i, which is 2i over 2, which will be equal to i. Or well, here we have minus 2 minus 2i, which is minus 4. Sorry, minus 2 minus 2, which is minus 4. And minus i minus 3i, which is minus 4i over 2. And that's equal to minus 2 minus 2i. Right? And so let's just summarize here. Therefore, z equals i and minus 2 minus 2i are solutions of the equation. Alright, and that's your final answer. So I hope you enjoyed the video.